Hi everyone, my name is Vanessa and I'm with Amoretti. And today we're at Ocean Lab Brewing here in beautiful Puerto Rico, hanging out with the Director of Operations, Ian. What exactly is your role here at Ocean Lab? Okay, as you said, I'm the Director of Operations for Ocean Lab. But practically, I'm in charge of, of, of the whole operation, oh, wow. the planning, some doing some planning for some recipes, um, basically everything. <laughs> everything, right? Yeah. Multiple hats. Yeah, some packaging, cellaring, a little, a little bit of everything. Okay, so how did you get started here at Ocean Lab? Did you just come straight in as the director of operations? No, no, no. <laughs> they, that's a real fun fact because I started um, packaging by putting bottles on the line. Okay. And work my way, way up. So you've learned multiple aspects of the brewing yeah. process and operation. Yeah, that's something that have helped, helped me a lot because I went through all the phases. I started packaging, I did cellaring, I did brewing, I started doing planning. So I have been in every base. So how long have you been with Ocean Lab? Right now I've been with Ocean Lab for five years. For five years. I, I, Ocean Lab started in uh, 2017 okay. and I started 2018. And I just started here, like I think it was a week before they bought, they bought it for the first time. Oh, wow. So you were really just like thrown in. Yeah, and I didn't know anything about the industry when I started. Like, I never thought that I'd be working at a brewer. Yeah. <laughs> but after starting, I, I just came for one day. I was going to work for one day. But that one day, I was like so amazing. I said like, whoa, this is what I want to keep doing. And I stay and look at me now. <laughs> yeah, look at you now. That's awesome. So. You oversee, like I said, the operations. So can you put that into perspective for us? How many barrels do you guys brew annually here? Right now, I'm going to start with well, with our brew house. We have a 15 barrel brew house. Okay. So we have um, 19 fermenters. From those 19, if I'm not mistaken, seven are 30 barrels, and the other ones are 60 barrels. Oh, wow. So we're right now doing 3,000, three, oh, sorry, 300 barrels a week. And last year we made if I'm not mistaken, 12,350 vials. So at what point did Ocean Lab discover Amoretti? Well, I think that it was at the beginning. Um, our master brew at the time, with the owner, Luis Fernandez, they went through some one CBC and they met, I think, their owner. And that's, what, that's when they started. I don't okay. know like a lot of the story, but right. I know that it started like that. <laughs> So Amoretti has been integrated into the brewing process pretty much since day one. Yeah. That's yeah, probably, awesome. Yes, I think our first fruit beer was with you guys, the, the, the Mambo. That is our best seller. It's an American wheat infused with passion fruit. Passion fruit. So what other flavors have been integrated in? We have our number two beer that is a blonde ale infused with the blood orange. We have the another blonde ale infused with blueberry. And we had another one that is a little different because the master brew at the time decided to do something fruity, but he wanted to do it with a more, much hoppier beer, more okay. bitter beer. So we took our pale ale and infused it with grapefruit. Oh, okay. And is that one the ruby? Yeah, that one is the ruby. What does the Amoretti Artisan add to your beer? Because I'm sure the beers that come out, and I've had the opportunity to try the lager that's just plain, and it's absolutely amazing. So why did you choose to integrate Amoretti Artisan into those four core beers? Okay, um, firstly, well, we are on the topic of the Caribbean. So we know that people here, like they drink a lot of cocktails with fruits, obviously. We have a lot of vodka with patient food. Okay. So we say, whoa. People like, are drinking a lot of uh, fruits, so we have to do something with that. So we start, the first one was the patient fruit, and we used your infusion, and for the first time, we, when we did it, it was like, oh, this is the perfect combination. Why? Because we get everything that we want. The beer, the beer um, it pops out, but you still have the smell of the fruit. Right. You have the flavor, and it, it's great. I really love that. In the artisan line, a lot of times you get the tartness of the fruit too. Yeah. And when I tried the, the mambo, you could really taste, you smelt it, like you said, it has the aromatics there. It has a beautiful color to it and it's a natural color source. But then when you drink it, 
you guys have done a balance where you get passion fruit first and then you get beer second. So the beer is like a complement to the flavor profile that you guys have paired it with. And I think it's, you guys have done an absolutely amazing okay. job. Of course, it's my that's, pleasure. That's part of the, uh, you guys, yeah, you're part of the equation. I'm really excited to see what new flavors Ocean Lab incorporates into newer beers that you brew in the near future. So when you started making, say for example, the Mamba, or really any of the beers that have Amoretti Artisan highlighted in, how did you determine the exact amount that would give you the flavor profile you were hoping to achieve? Well, it, it took us uh, like maybe two or three, okay. but it was very really simple because we can be help of our lab and enjoy recommendation. We got the amount that we wanted and we're testing little by little. So until we found what we wanted exactly. So that's so important. I feel like in sales, one of the number one questions we get is, how much do you add? And it's so important for brewers to understand that it does take trial and error to achieve the flavor profile that they envisioned or have in their minds, right? Would you agree with that? Oh, totally. I that, mean, that's what you guys do here, right? Yeah, you do a, a, a small sample. Obviously, when you do it at a large scale, you're going to change a little bit, but you have to, to try it. So Ian, rumor has it that you have a special beer, and I feel like every time I turn a corner, there's a new surprise. Yeah, we have something special for you guys. What are you making us? Well, we have an experimental that we just made because you guys were coming. So we're going to take a, a blunt ale, and we're going to infuse it with the raspberry artisan. Oh, that's gonna be good. Yeah. Well, are you ready? Because I've been waiting for oh, this moment. We're totally ready. <laughs> well, let's go do it. I'm excited to brew some beer. So Ian, I know you have a special beer made for us. Can you tell us a little bit about what you have in store? Well, we took our blunt ale and we're going to infuse it with raspberry. With the raspberry artisan. Yeah, raspberry artisan. All right. Well, can you first, before we jump into adding Amoretti into the beer, can you walk us through the process from beginning to end? Yeah, of course. All right. So what's step one? Well, step one, we we have our recipe that is being it's been done on our warehouse um, that is like 30 minutes from here. Okay. Um, when the recipe gets here, we mail it in the mill room. Then after that, we begin what is called the machine. So we mix the water with the grain. Okay. Then we go to the sparge. Then we're going to boil the beer so we can determine the flavor that we want for our blend. Then after that, we do whirlpool. Then we transfer it to the fermenter. Ferment the beer for seven days. Okay. Until it's ready, then we we centrifuge it and transfer it to the bright tank. All right. So can you walk us through and kind of show us where you have all of that machinery? So I know earlier you had mentioned this was the mash, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then behind us we have the whirlpool. No. Or the boil. The boil. The boil. Okay. Yeah, the kettle. It's the called kettle. the kettle tank. Okay. And then after that you move us to um, ultimately we end up at the fermenter. Yeah. So just to clarify, you're gonna brew a beer that's already an established recipe, and all you're gonna change is, is infusing it with the Amoretti Artisan Raspberry. Yeah, that's right. All right, so how much are you gonna add? Well, for this recipe, we're going to use 10 pounds of the Raspberry Amoretti Artisan. So that whole bucket's gonna go into the tank. It's going to go, yeah. So where in Ocean Lab Brewery will we be able to get the best shot of seeing the beer flowing in with the Raspberry Artisan? Well, I can show you, let's go there. Let's go.
Well, Ian, thank you so much for allowing us to follow you through the process of making that delicious raspberry beer. It was absolutely phenomenal, so juicy. The flavor is so predominant. I'm so excited to see this hopefully hit your yeah. guys' menu. Yeah, of course it will. <laughs> so where can people find out more information about Ocean Lab Brewing and all of the delicious beers you produce here? Well, you can see it, check us on our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and there you can find everything about the Ocean Lab. <laughs> Perfect. I think, though, it would be better if they actually visited you guys in oh, person. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Nothing's better than trying the beer straight from the brewery itself, right? Yeah, our product is very fresh, and I know that every people will love it. Absolutely. Thank you so much for tuning in. Any brewers that would like more information about Amoretti, the flavors that we have to offer, or how to integrate our products into your beer, feel free to reach out to us through social media platforms or our website, www.amoretti.com. Thanks again for tuning in. Cheers. Cheers.